Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Ped. So today we are at the Porsche driving experience in Silverstone and I've got a very, very cool car to review for you. I've managed to get access to this 718 Boxster. Um, I've wanted to review this car for a while and actually it's because of this car I got invited today. I contacted my local dealership and I'm really keen to get this car to review for you. Uh, I've driven, as you've seen, the Boxster 3.4 S. I've heard lots and lots of things about this because it's the four pot um, uh, horizontally opposed turbocharged engine. There's lots of people saying, oh, it's not really a Boxster. So I wanted to get access to it. I've got this fantastic car for the next hour. We're going to take it for a bit of a drive around the lanes. I've already driven this car on the handling circuit this morning, so I kind of know what it's like on the limit. This morning I drove the S variant. This is just the normal Boxster, um, but it would be great to take a look at this car and see what it's like. The new name for the Boxster, the 718, continues the legacy which started in 1957 with the original 718 that competed at famous races such as Le Mans and the Targa Florio. It's also a break with tradition for Porsche to put the designation number of the car on the back of the car. In a controversial break from flat six normally aspirated engines, the new 718 Boxster is powered by a mid-mounted two litre turbocharged horizontally opposed four-cylinder boxer engine producing 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. The Boxster S gets a two and a half litre flat four with 350 brake horsepower. With an unladen weight of just under 1500 kilos this little pocket rocket will get to 60 in 4.9 seconds and onto a top speed of 170 miles an hour. The S gets to 60 half a second quicker and can do 177. It's all pretty good on the go-go juice as well, with a combined cycle of 40.1 mpg, and you can pack a bag for the weekend with 150 litres of boot space up front and 125 in the rear. In fact, it's hard to work out where they've put the engine. Oh, okay then, here we go. Oh, very nice, the new 718 Boxster. Um, very, very lovely spec press car we're in. Um, I've got nice electric uh, rake and tilt adjustment on the steering wheel. Um, I am gonna put it straight into sport box. I've got sports exhaust. I'm also gonna drop the roof because, well, it'd be rude not to really. Pretty quick uh, roof down. So um, we've got a pre-planned press route in the sat nav. Um, I'm going to put it into drive and let's go and enjoy ourselves. So first things to say about this car is I've had it on track this morning um, and this this car um, I guess has had quite a, a lot of criticism from journos and people saying that they didn't agree with this new engine layout. So it's got a, um, a four cylinder, this is the S, uh, sorry, the, the standard version. So four cylinder turbocharged engine. This particular model's got 300 horsepower. I've got the PDK flappy paddle gearbox. And there was quite a lot of criticism saying, oh, you know, it's not the flat six, it's lost a lot of the character. Um, and, and I have to say, um, my first impressions from driving it on track this morning is, what are people talking about? Um, I drove the S on track this morning, um, it was mighty. Uh, and bearing in mind, I'm comparing that to the cars I've driven on track this morning, um, include a 911 Turbo S, a GT3 RS, and a Cayman GT4, and I still think this car sat really nicely within those. And if you bear in mind the price point of this car, I think it's, it's, it's exceptional. So I finally found my way out of the Silverstone circuit. So we've got a, a route basically that we're gonna follow. I'm gonna have the roof down because I think you should be able to hear me. I'm gonna start off in just normal driving mode. This has got the PDK box, which has impressed me massively this morning. Such an amazing gear change. We're gonna start off in normal driving mode. I am in sport mode. I have got the noisy exhaust button on and already this little four pot makes a beautiful noise it's popping and crackling on the overrun um yeah i'm i, I kind of audibly it sounds all good to me um we're now gonna we've got a, a mix of 
what's not to like about that. So we're going to come on to a dual carriageway. We'll do a mix of kind of, uh, of, of different types of driving and we'll see what this car's all about. Oh, look at this sunshine. Today's a good day. I can chuck the keys to a brand new 718 Boxster. The sun's out. So I'm now just on a dual carriageway, cruising along 70 miles an hour, lane two. Beautiful, smooth ride. This car's just so weighted, the steering's really lovely, but it really comes alive when you stop chucking you start chucking it around. That's when you really know you're in something very special. Fit out of this car, absolutely beautiful. The interior. If I had one criticism of the old Boxster, is the interior just, I don't know, it wasn't quite there for me. This one's very beautiful. Kind of center binnacle, centralized rev counter, which is always nice. I've got a kind of TFT screen to the right hand side, which can every now and again it's going to show me my vehicle stats, but also that's where my sat nav can be. Speedo on the left, so triple digit display, really nice. And then I've got my sat nav in the middle console and a range of different um, of modes. Um, and that's really cool. I've obviously got sport mode, noisy exhaust mode, which is pretty cool. Um, I can also firm up the dampers in this. So if I just push that, so this is the kind of PASM um, Porsche, the, the, the firmer dampers. Yeah, you can, you can feel it straight away. So I'm going to turn that off actually, because it's, it's nice and smooth. It's a nice bit of rover on at the moment, but nice and smooth without that. That's all good. So I've just come up to a corner or to a roundabout. The little right-hand binnacles changed to a sat nav, which I think is a really nice feature, showing me I'm going straight on at this roundabout. So yeah, all good so far. So I'm going to knock it into manual box. I could just grab a paddle, but I'm going to put it in a manual box. Uh, I've now got my flappy paddles. Um, I could just drop it down one, and then it's got such a surge. The power delivery is exceptional. Um, lots of low down torque, which is nice. It's kind of what you want. It, it makes it very drivable on circuit this morning. You could really push into a corner and you just had that torque there all the time. Um, and it's quite interesting. Normally on my reviews, I don't get the chance to really push the car. I just have to imagine what it's like when I'm on the road. Uh, but I know what this car's like on track because I've just spent the morning driving it on track and it's, it's exceptionally good. Um, so, you know, on the road, I know that I am going to run out of talent way before this car does. Um, this is the baby Boxster, if you like. This is the, the sort of uh, just the normal Boxster, not the Boxster S. So 300 brakes, still plenty of go. Um, I'm now just going to put it back into auto box while I go through this sort of uh, built up area. But yeah, very, very nice. Just a really lovely firm feel about the steering, firm feel about the car. Um, very, very impressive. So the thing I wasn't expecting at the kind of lower speeds is, is the noise, the engine noise. There's this beautiful, deep kind of boxer engine throb coming from the back of the car. And everyone had said it didn't make a noise or, I mean, yes, it's not a flat six, but it makes a fantastic noise. And this sports exhaust, so on overrun, you've kind of got that, that popple and the, the sort of pops and crackles that you'd, you'd like. And it's not, it's not obscene, so, um, you know, it's not completely artificially there, but when, when it happens, it just sounds fantastic. experience this morning this this 718 um, I drove it in very very high company this morning um, and I left the circuit and went to my lunch and you know of all the cars I drove this is the one that kind of I thought well, you know I'd quite like to take this home it's it's a practical car it's not stupidly expensive um, it's it's got an amazing amount of performance. The handling's beautiful. The turn-in is super, super sharp. Um, and even on the limit, so coming out of corners, when you're really pushing on and you put the power down early, the car just squats down and gets, gets going. It, it's really very impressive. 
um, you know, I was giving it the beans this morning and not once did I, you know, if anything, there was a bit of understeer um, when you really pushed in, but that was probably my driving technique more than anything, taking a bit too much speed into the corner. If you just waited for the steering rack to unwind a bit and then gave it some, it was just super, super quick. So this is the kind of road where it comes alive into manual, down a couple of cogs, and again, Beautiful noise coming from that flat four. Two litre turbocharged engine. Oh yeah. It's just such a responsive power unit. There's so much torque, it's lovely. Yeah, I've driven the 3.4 flat six Boxster S and no doubt it's a beautiful car. Um, but the way of the world, I'm afraid, because of lots of reasons to do with the environment and so on, the way of the world is turbocharging. We've seen more and more turbocharging in all cars from, you know, very, very high performance cars right the way down to kind of, you know, normal sort of saloons and family cars. So you kind of can't avoid it, I'm afraid. And, and I can't see this as any different or, or lesser car because it's turbocharged. It's got huge amounts of power. It makes a fantastic noise. Um, it, it pops on the overrun, which is always a good thing. Um, it goes around corners brilliantly. Mm, I need to think of something really bad to say about it. Um, mm, let me get back to you on that one. So I've just put the roof up just to, um, well one, it's probably easier for me to talk to camera. I just wanted to obviously try it with the roof up as well as the roof down. I mean, the buffeting and wind noise isn't too bad with the roof down, to be honest, but then, you know, it's a soft top. Um, but it's a double um, canvas roof, so very, very high quality soft top. The roof mechanism goes up and down really, really nicely. Um, so yeah, all in all, um, that makes this car really practical because you kind of get the, the best of both worlds. <laughs> the main difficulty with this car is keeping below the speed limit. It's so quick. And, and uh, you know, as I said before, this isn't the S, this is just the the, the two litre uh, turbo and it's such a quick little car. It's got loads of poke and it, it seems daft, doesn't it, when I'm saying it's not the quick car and it's still got 300 brake horsepower, which is what you get in the old Boxster S and this is just the Boxster. Um, and it just makes it a very usable car. And what I like about it is, is, is you could really push on and, and really kind of exploit a lot of this car on the road. Um, the cars I've driven this morning on track, yeah, we were on a handling circuit, you could really give them the beans and they kind of made sense. You'd never drive that fast out here on the public road because it's one illegal and, and you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. So what are my final impressions of this car? Well, considering I've waited such a long time to drive it, um, I'm not disappointed at all. Um, it's, it kind of takes the old Boxster and it lifts it up to another place. It's a different place. Um, obviously the engine's different, but uh, if, you never, if you'd never driven a flat six Boxster and you got in this, you wouldn't know what all the fuss was about. The power delivery of this engine is absolutely exceptional. Um, the handling is, is exquisite. The turning of this thing is so sharp and you can get on the power so quickly. And the steering feels beautiful. Um, and it's just, it's a beautifully appointed car. So, you know, top marks to Porsche. Um, and yes, there will be purists who say, it's not flat six. I'm sorry guys, but you, you stay with your flat six. Um, I'd have one of these any time. And, you know, having driven a flat six, 3.4 S, um, the, the Boxster S I drove this morning was, was miles faster than that. And the gearbox is superb. Let's drop this roof while we're moving, shall we? Yeah, pretty impressive stuff. We're now soft top again, you can... <laughs> yeah. that, that, that noise is quite... When you're in a built-up area, I mean, I'm... <laughs> I'm only doing 20 miles an hour and it's just making that noise, it's brilliant. Oh yeah! That'll 
probably fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> this car puts a smile on your face. It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel very, very special. Because it is very special. Well, guys, what can I say about this car? 718 Boxster, um, long-awaited drive, but wow. The, the performance is fantastic. Um, it's got such amazing power, really, from really early on, lots of torque, sounds fantastic. This sports exhaust is superb. Um, so yeah, I kind of hope you've enjoyed that video. It's been long awaited. Um, so if you have done, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty of more content to come. So anyway, you take care, guys. Drive safe.